Hi guys, Vaughan again. I'm here today with a mini John Lewis haul. It's only four pieces, but I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Although I haven't tried them on yet, so they could be a disaster. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, and I sound like your sort of person, please subscribe. So first up, I went onto the John Lewis site. I don't buy from them very often. I tend to find them a little bit on the pricey side. But I went there because of the trousers that I bought in my last, um, yeah, last Stitch Fix haul. I think it was the last one. The mint velvet trousers. And I went online to see who sold mint velvet. And John Lewis came up as one of them. And I saw a few things that I really liked. So first up is this one, which is by White Stuff. And it's just a really simple pink three-quarter sleeve it's like a t-shirt fabric band across the back um i just really like the look of it and i thought it was one of those that would work you know in, in a british summer day when it's a bit cooler not that it is here at the moment we've had a terrific thunderstorm but it's still as muggy as anything but anyway i thought it was <laughs> sorry it would work in the summer but it would transition through you know you just layer it up great layering piece now this was originally 25 pounds and i got it in the sale for 20 pounds so not bad you know five pounds off worth a try next up was something from warehouse no surprise and it is this really pretty green ditzy top can you see the pattern on there hope you can it's a really pretty green with i would say a sort of slightly off-white background little puff sleeves and they are elasticated with a little frill v-neck again big girl's friend cover buttons it's fake buttons which is just the bomb for me because there's no worries with gaping and it has a sort of a peplum and the waist for the peplum is elasticated so i mean we're Please God, this fits. You know, it should look really good and I love it. I thought it would go with so many things. And that was originally 32 pounds. And in the sale, it was 22 pounds and 40p. So a 10 pound saving. I was gonna try and do the percentages for you, but oh, percentages, you know, this girl and maths. Next up, again, warehouse. It is just a classic white tee or top. It's a bit better than a tee. It is more of a top than a tee, but it has got that stretchy fabric. It's got sort of um, banding around the armhole. I think it's probably cap sleeve, I think we would probably call it. Get a nice V-neck. It's just a really nice, really simple, it feels better quality, like it might last, um, and would work. Again, it's a workhorse. I'm starting to get my brain on the whole, we're heading into the you know, cooler weather layers, all of that sort of thing. So anyway, I'm, I have high hopes. This was £25 uh, and in the sale it was £17.50. So, and last but not least was my splurge. And I'm praying this fits and at the same time my bank balance is going, please don't fit, please don't fit. Anyway, it is a mint velvet jacket. It is in the softest blush pink. Can you see that? Bring it right in and hopefully you can see the colour. It doesn't wash out too much. Uh, long sleeves. Single button at the front. The fabric is wonderful. It's got pockets and they are working pockets on the front. Not that I think I would put anything in the pockets because I tend to find it spoils the line, but then I might. And at the back, it's got this unusual, can you see that, ruching with strings so you can actually tighten and loosen the jacket up as much as you want to to tighten or loosen it now it was gosh I'm sorry warm again um it was 119 pounds and i got it for 69 so it's still up there but you know that is 50 pounds off and it just looks so gorgeous the quality is absolutely wonderful so I, as i say i'm really hoping that it fits and at the same time there's a bit of me <laughs> that thinks mm, 69 maybe i shouldn't be spending 69 pounds right now but and i think the color would work with me and work with lots of things anyway 
that's it so now i'll get over to the quick try on before we get going with the try on i thought i'd show you the cream linen trousers that i got at the charity shop the 3.99 ones i'm so impressed with them and they are so super comfortable can you see the little i just sort of tie it or knot it i i'm sure i should do something far more ambitious with it but they fit really really well they are a little long but i tend to find linen trousers are long do other people find that that they tend to be on the long side but they're not so long that i can't wear them and today i've slipped them on with this hot pink corally pink shirt but i just thought i'd show you because i did show you them in the charity shop haul but i didn't actually show you what they look like on anyway let's get to the proper try on this is the pink top from white stuff and i really like it i don't know if it's great on the back obviously not having eyes in the back of my head i'll see that when i look on camera but what i can see at the front i really like considering it's really hot and sticky here we've had this huge thunderstorm but it hasn't really broken the weather i am suffering i have to say it feels really light and comfortable it's a lovely size it's loose it's not clinging but it's not so big that I disappear. I like the notch neck on it. I'll come in a bit closer so you can see a little bit more detail. I just think that's really great. And I can so see myself layering with this. I could, you know, put so many things over the top of this, you know, a nice light gray cardigan in the winter, um, a jacket of any description. It just has a nice feel. And I am really pleased with that. So this, <laughs> one for one, yes. I'm sorry. I'm bound to be biased because I chose the things. But how pretty is this? I love it. I absolutely love it. Funnily enough, I just had to get rid of a blouse that was not as bright a green as this, but it was a pretty green blouse from Monsoon that was too big from, you know, where I'd lost weight. And I was quite sort of gutted about it. I kept trying to wear it. I kept taking it out of the wardrobe, putting it on, and then, you know, having to face the fact that it was much too big. This is so pretty and so feminine look at the details on it the little puff sleeve they're not tight they've got that little frill around them i mean it's you know there's plenty of room oh well <laughs> i best not do that too much but there's plenty of room in the top the little um what do you call that peplum with the band so comfortable it's like it's not there because it's elasticated it's like it's not there and you've got the oh there's my tummy You've got the flowiness coming down over the top. I don't, again, don't know what the back looks like. I can only hope. And you know what I think? I can't see the back. Why should I care? And look, it actually really works with these trousers. It's almost as if I bought the blouse for the trousers. But I know I'm not wearing the right colour bra for this. I'm wearing a navy one, I believe, navy or black. So I am seeing a little bit of it through. So. It's got to be white or nude underwear, but that's not a big deal because it's bra friendly in every other respect. It's just my fault. I've got a very dark corner on. And I wouldn't necessarily team it with cream <laughs> trousers, but it's fine for this. Again, this is flowy. This is comfortable. It's not clinging. I'm sure it is on the back. This is where all my issues are. Well, not all of them, but quite a few of them are. But on the front, great, nice V-neck. As I say, it's bound. It's got different fabric running along here and along the arms, which I think will help it retain its shape. It's just a great classic that I can wear and wear and wear. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the jacket on with this. It's not gonna quite go, it's, but I'm gonna give it a whirl and we can see. Oh, do I wish it fitted? Do I wish it didn't? Deep breath. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's soft. It fits so well. I mean, I could do it up if I wanted. I wouldn't wear it done up, but I could, should I wish to. Um, having this gathering in the back, I did pull it in a little bit to give it a little bit more definition, but I think it sort of helps with the lay of the jacket down the side of the body so that it's skim. So if I did do it up, I mean, I'm not going to wear it like this, but Maybe you can see more what I mean. It's sort of skimming there. It probably looks red for buttoned up. <laughs> um, the sleeves are a tad long, nothing major. 
I would always be inclined, I am always inclined to pull the sleeves up on my blazers or in fact fold them up as another thing of mine um, because I'm not great on having things flapping around my hands. So I got into the habit, I suppose it was the 80s, so I got into the habit of doing this. Um, I shall just do it so we can see. Would it be the 80s when it was big to push your sleeves up? And Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? So in Miami Vice, oh God. Please say I don't look like a character from Miami Vice. Um, there we go, let's just, yeah. Yeah, that's probably more how I would wear it with the sleeves just turned up that little bit. Um, the colour is great. I mean, it would go over dresses. It would go over anything and it would totally work with jeans. It's just completely, completely versatile. And I think that little thing at the back, it just adds a little something for me. So you know what, it's not going to go back. So my back balance is going to have to take that hit, I'm afraid, because this is lovely. So there's no real need to do a recap. I like it all. I'm a bit shocked that I like it all. <laughs> I'm more likely to have disasters than have successes, but these just work for me and they will work in my wardrobe. I've got to take this jacket off, I'm so hot. They will work in my wardrobe and for a long time. I mean, I think this jacket is so classic that I could still be pulling this on in, you know, five, ten years' time, as long as I haven't put on a load more weight. So, it's a big hip hip hooray from me. I hope you liked this. I know it was only ever such a little haul, but I just wanted you to see some of the things that were in the sales and that, well, we can all benefit from it. Even somewhere like John Lewis doesn't have to be hugely expensive. And it is nice to have a few quality pieces in your wardrobe. Anyway, I've been me. This has been my bedroom. I'm out of here. Bye guys.